In this video, I'm going to tell you what is better, breastfeeding or formula feeding. I'm going to talk about something that is very important for all mothers. By the end of this video, you will be able to make a choice in what you think is best for your baby. Stay tuned, because I'm going to break it all down for you. Deciding the best way to feed a new baby is a very personal choice for a woman. Whether she chooses to breastfeed or use formula, feeding time is an important opportunity for a mother and baby to form a close bond with one another. Factors to consider When deciding how to feed your baby, a woman and her partner may think about several factors such as the short and long-term health benefits for mother and baby, financial considerations and comfort level with breastfeeding. They may also consider lifestyle characteristics, such as the time and convenience of one feeding method over another, a mother's plans to return to work, and whether family members or other caregivers might be involved in feeding. When choosing a feeding method, a woman should first decide what is best for her infant and then secondarily what method is best for her," said Dr. Ruth Lawrence, a professor of pediatrics and obstetrics and gynecology at the University of Rochester School of Medicine in Rochester, New York. But Lawrence, who breastfed all nine of her own children and conducts research on breastfeeding, points out that while every species makes a milk specific for their offspring, humans are the only ones who might feed their young the milk from another species, and that would be cows. Although there were times during the 20th century when the pendulum in the United States swung away from breastfeeding as an old-fashioned method and toward bottle feeding as the modern way, Lawrence said that over the past 25 years, there has been a trend back to the breast. But one of the problems in getting more American women to breastfeed could be the lack of ongoing support that some mothers experience when they begin nursing their newborns or when challenges arise. Some women might not have a mother, sister, or close friend to turn to for advice about breastfeeding. That's why having a peer support group who can help a nursing mother is very important. Here are some benefits and challenges of breastfeeding and bottle feeding to help women weigh the options and make an informed decision about infant feeding. Here are the breastfeeding benefits for babies. Better nutrition. Health professionals consider a mother's milk to be the ideal nourishment for her baby. It is more easily digested than formula, resulting in fewer bouts of diarrhea or constipation. Breast milk also contains nutrients important for brain growth, such as taurine, an amino acid, and DHA, a fatty acid, boosts immunity. Human milk provides immunological protection against colds, sore throats, strep throat, gastrointestinal diseases, and ear infections. This happens because babies receive antibodies passed onto them from their mother's milk, which helps boost their immune system and protect them from getting sick. Protects against allergies. Studies showed that breastfed babies tend to have fewer allergies than formula-fed infants, especially those given cow's milk formulas. And research has found that infants who nurse may also be less likely to develop asthma and diabetes or become overweight compared with babies who receive formula. Breastfed babies tend to not be overfed in the same way as bottle-fed babies may be. Adds brain power. Some studies have suggested that children who were breastfed have slightly higher IQ than babies who were given formula. Breastfeeding benefits for mothers, promotes bonding. Holding an infant close to feed from a woman's breast creates a special bond between mother and baby. Saves money. Nursing is much cheaper than formula and is a more convenient feeding method. Mother nature helps prepare a woman's breasts for breastfeeding so that milk and colostrum, a mother's first milk, will be there for her baby. Improves recovery time. Some of the main health benefits of breastfeeding are that it enhances a woman's physiological recovery after she delivers. Women have less postpartum blood loss if they breastfeed, and the uterus goes back to its normal size within six weeks of delivering. Since breastfeeding also burns more calories, nursing mothers tend to lose their baby weight quicker and regain their pre-pregnancy bodies, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture offers long-term health benefits. Nursing an infant also protects a woman's health. Studies have found that women who breastfeed have a lower risk of breast and ovarian cancers, and they are also less likely to develop osteoporosis as they get older. Challenges of breastfeeding. Producing enough milk. One of the biggest challenges while breastfeeding is making enough milk to feed the baby. And fatigue in women can get in the way of good milk production. When a woman is first starting to breastfeed, 
Her nipples can become tender and her breasts sore as the baby latches on and nurses, and feedings may be painful and hurt. Unlike bottle feeding, it can be hard to tell how much a breastfed baby has eaten and whether a little one has had enough milk. More frequent feedings. Another challenge facing mothers is that breastfed babies need to eat more frequently than formula fed infants, so nursing a young baby can be a time consuming task. Affects lifestyle habits. And because she is the sole source of her newborn's nourishment, some women may feel tied down to nursing or find limited places in public to breastfeed. Her partner can become involved in feedings by bringing the baby to the mother when it's time to nurse or feeding a bottle of breast milk as she pumps. Similar to being pregnant, such as drinking alcohol and smoking cigarettes or marijuana, when she is breastfeeding compared with mothers who give their babies formula. Shy about nursing in public. Despite knowing its health benefits, some women may not feel comfortable breastfeeding, especially outside of the home, or have little interest in doing it. Women with certain medical conditions, such as HIV infection or active tuberculosis, should avoid breastfeeding. And women who have had breast reduction surgery may have trouble breastfeeding if their milk ducts were removed. Some women may feel they have failed as a mother if they can't breastfeed or feel guilty if they decide to switch infant feeding methods as a baby gets older and they need to return to work. Limited support. If a woman is unfamiliar with breastfeeding and how to do it, there are classes available to help teach her before she gives birth, as well as peer support groups, lactation consultants and organizations, such as La Lech League, to offer guidance and answer questions after she delivers. I am a small content creator and would greatly appreciate if you left a thumbs up and would consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. Take a look on my channel page for the other videos I got in store. Thanks for watching.